The technology being introduced with the SAE J3400 charging port standard is impressive, but to bring all those features to the EV world does require some hardware changes, and that's where J3400-2 comes in. I'm here with Rodney McGee. We're here at the American Center for Mobility, and we're here to talk about uh, an addition to J3400. J3400 is not a static thing, the standard. And essentially, why don't you, why don't you explain it? What, what is it? Is it is, it's a well, it's a family of standards now. I mean, we have the um, J3400 kind of primary system level document. Uh, we have 3400-1, uh, which is our adapters document. And we have J3400-2, which is a, just the mechanical uh, part of the coupler design. That's the connector and the inlet. And that is now approaching the highest level of standardization maturity. And so today we're talking mainly about uh, J3400-2. And this is the actual hardware. This is what people will see. Well, you know, there's a lot of tech technology that's going on in the background with this standard. But this is what people will see when they're plugging their vehicles into their into the charging stations or maybe into their home charger in the future. Yeah, the classic NAX uh, connector that a lot of people are familiar with on, you know, the uh, majority of existing superchargers are the 500 volt sort of connector. And uh, J3400 is the 1000 volt uh, variant of the NAX connector. And it has some material removed, so it increases the maximum voltage it can handle. They call that creepage and clearance, basically, so that you can have isolation between the positive and negative terminals on the connector. So what we're defining there is uh, the mechanical, the space around the customer's hand and the vehicle to make sure that we don't have a manufacturer make a connector that doesn't fit into someone's charge port. So mm -hmm. those kinds of uh, details are an important part of the mechanical specification, and that's where we have um, you know, the maturity of that document as like a full international standard. And we talk about the, the creep and the removing material, you're talking mostly about the actual plug that goes into the yeah. vehicle. It's gonna look, well, it will look a little bit different mm -hmm. than what people are accustomed to when they go to say the Tesla supercharger station. Yeah, there's a little cutouts on the side between the, the power pins and the communication and ground pins uh, that um, allow for that higher voltage rating. And without and the, the idea of removing that that material, what was the what was? Yeah, so basically, you know, in order to have isolation between the, the sides, you kind of have to create a path between uh, how far does it have to go between positive and negative. And mm -hmm. one way to achieve, you know, a higher separation is to remove, um, you know, material in strategic places. And that was uh, that, you know, design essentially was what you know, Tesla proposed, um, you know, a year before SA picked up the standardization is what they proposed mm -hmm. as the thousand volt variant of um, NAX, which I guess so far they've only deployed in like the Cybertruck. So now, you know, in the future, you know, as this, you know, as you're looking at not just the super stations or the superchargers, uh, other companies that are, are building um, NAX compatible charging stations. Right, because in the CCS land, the transition at thousand volts was a couple years but you know, before where we are with Nax. And so mm -hmm. the vendors who are now uh, taking their charging stations and they're already thousand volt capable. So the Nax uh, charging cable that they want to adopt is, is going to be the thousand volt rated one so that they can, you know, cover the full range from, you know, uh, 200 volts to like 920 technically. Mm -hmm. That's what we require um, the charging stations to provide. And so that would, you know, mean that, you know, you can, uh, you know, charge uh, Teslas that have a, you know, a Tesla S or a 3 that has a lower pack and are also, you know, Ionic vehicles or Hummers or, you know, those vehicles that have the higher voltage battery packs. So, well, it's really exciting about our, what's coming up to uh, with J3400 and for the future of EV charging. And for more videos about EV charging, sustainability, and electric vehicles, be sure to subscribe to SAE International.